G'day guys, it's Beachy here from Drifter. So a bit of a different one here. This is a, this is a caravan that we've just recently fitted out. So this caravan came here as a completely empty shell internally. So it was just a big white square empty box basically. Um, and yeah, when the customer drops the caravan off, we, we went through and designed all of his cabinetry just as he wanted. He, he had a pretty good idea of what he wanted already within this layout you know he'd he watched all the videos and he was pretty researched on what we can offer here at drifter but yeah it's just really really nice fit out turned out really well um just wanted to do a quick walkthrough video again none of this is really detailed on the website as options of what we do do but just wanted to do a video because it does demo that you know we've got lots of capabilities to do whatever you want really with regards to internal cabinetry fit outs and things so so yeah, so Dave, this is Dave's caravan. Dave's from, um, I think it's from the Sunshine Coast up in Queensland. So we did a few emails, a few drawings, um, back and forth and things like that. And then he bought the caravan down here, made the big trip down. And um, when he dropped it off, we yeah, fine tuned all of them exact design details based on me taking measurements of the space and come up with a plan and this is it. So it's getting picked up today. So the usual thing, just a quick video before it goes. So, all right, we'll have a bit of a look. Um, okay, so this here is the, obviously where the bed's gonna be. So Dave's getting a big custom made mattress to go on here. Underneath this actual platform is quite a lot of things. There's, there's a lot of 12 volts, you know, down here there's a couple of big lithium batteries, big inverter and all that sort of thing, which can all be accessed through a hatch in the door on the other side. And there's a couple of slide out drawers on this side, which come out through hatches in the side wall on the outside of the van on here. And then we built in cabinetry around that as well. So yeah, main thing was a few, a few drawers. So we've got three beautiful drawers here. Nice big storage drawers, all right. And then this, this area here is blanked off to allow for the, the slide out, which is just here. And then here we've got a table. So this is an external table. So it comes out and it's got a full set of legs up there. So this is the table they take outside to use when they're sat under that awning. So it just stores in there nice and neat. Um, I hadn't really thought of this till now, but you know, if you were in bed here as well, you could actually slide this out halfway and just use this as a little place to rest some things when you're in bed, you know, like, you know, your phone and, or a book and things like that. So it sort of doubles up really well like that as well. Little, just a little cupboard up in the end here. So just a, a big storage space there. Um, it was just a bit wide to make the drawers all the way. So we just narrowed it up and put a little cupboard in there. So again, full access to all the space, which is one thing we really work on here at Drifter. Um, at the end here is just a little shelf. So again, just another little shelf when you're in bed, you can just put a few things there. We just put a lip around the shelf. So if you leave things there when you're traveling, that's, that's all good too. Okay, and then yeah, there's a fair bit more going on in here. So. So yeah, like I said, when it came here, it was just a completely empty shell. There's nothing in here at all. Uh, there's, a, there's a few pipes and cables around the place, which we had to work around. But apart from that, everything here we designed and built as per what the customer wanted. So um, we've got two mirror image um, cupboards here. So they're, they're identical um, to each other. So we've got a big cupboard space at the top. We've got a couple of shelves in here. So the shelves are just on L brackets, so they can be put in at whatever height's needed. Um, you know, we give them the screws so they can just screw them shelves in. And then here there's three nice big drawers. So and these drawers are really, really nice and big. You know, there's a lot of space in there. Three drawers exactly the same. And then down the bottom, we've got another cupboard, which is the same as the one at the top there, pretty much. So, so if you look in here, you can just see, um, you know, there's there's a, a water sort of hub, just have a quick look in here, Eddie. Um, you know, that we sort of built around. So that's just one of the things that was already in the van that we sort of fitted the cabinets around. And it's the same in here also. Um, this is below the sink. So we've got a lot of pipes coming through the floor, um, coming through the back wall, which is where the filler point is. So we've just kind of like built the cabinetry to fit around all that stuff. And then when, when he gets at home, Dave's just gonna finish the plumbing. He's gonna put his water pump in and all that sort of stuff himself. So. Um, but yeah, we've just provided access um, to all of that stuff for him. So yeah, th this is obviously the, the kitchen area. So sink with a drainer, 
Um, you know, th this is Dave's mixer tap he had, so we just fitted that there, which he's going to plumb up. Um, here we've got a couple of cutlery and utensil drawers, so we divided these up for him. So you've got your knives and forks and spoons and things, and then just a bit of extra division for the utensils. Nice big um, worktop area here as well, all fully laminated of course. Um, and then, so here we've got another six drawers. So there's a, there's a lot of storage in here, you know. Um, and these drawers are different sizes. So they start off a bit shallower, a bit bigger, and then a bit bigger one again. Just gives you a bit of variety in you know, where you, you store, you know, you might have your, your glasses and um, cups and things in here, and then you know, your, your pots and your pans and the bigger things down the bottom. Around here, we've got this little drop down door because this is the wheel arch of the caravan in here. So yeah, we just done that drop door space to give nice, good access. Obviously it's only this long, so it's too, too short for a draw, but that's when the drop, the drop door works really well. Yeah, a couple of overhead cupboards. All right, so these are just drop down doors. So, you know, lots of storage in there. And then obviously we've built in the fridge. So yeah, customer provided his own fridge and microwave. We do, do, we do supply bar fridges. We've got lots of different options, but he already had his own. So we built this cabinetry to fit around that. And then above here, we've just left this cupboard open. Um, yeah, because Dave's gonna, he's gonna, he's got a 12 volt display, the Symarine Pico and everything. He's, got, he's gonna mount it all up in here. Um, so yeah, he's gonna finish fit that himself when he gets it home. Yeah, so like I said, on, on this other side here, um, this cupboard is basically a mirror image of that one. Um, this overhead again, same as the other side. Um, and then down here, we've got a seat. So obviously cushion to go on here after. And then we've made this backrest, which it's got a slight angle to it, which will just make it a nice comfy sitting position. Plus also behind here, there's, there's, there's a fair bit of cables and things. Um, I think there's some lights and um, power outlets on the outside of the van. So that kind of conceals all the cables that are behind there as well. So it works well. And again, yeah, a couple more drawers. So, and then just a, another little cubby hole here, which is a good place, good place to keep your shoes and things like that as well. You can see this extra table here as well. So this is an internal table. Uh, Dave's got an internal mount, which he's gonna to mount to the floor. And then this table will just be sort of mounted on here. And it'll be, it's, it's one of the mounts that pivots away. And then I think it detaches as well. So you can actually put it away. So it's got full floor access if needed as well. So, so yeah, we, we've just made the tabletop for him. And then, yeah, he'll finish fit it when he gets at home, when he gets, gets his mechanism in place. So, yeah, just came out really well. Just really stoked with it. And I've, I've sent Dave some pictures and he's over the moon and yeah, really happy. Um, yeah, really, it's really nice for us working with customers and the ASIM and customers back and forth with designs and coming up with a result that, um, yeah, you know, everyone's happy with. It's just, yeah, it's quite rewarding and it's a good achievement. So, um, yeah, so, you know, hats off to all the guys that drifted who've been involved with this build. Um, you know, this cabinetry is, you know, it takes the next, next skill level to build this kind of stuff. So all the guys involved done a really good job and they're all really happy with it as well. And they all enjoy this kind of work as well. So. Yeah, more of this kind of works good for us and good for good for the good for the team here. So, all right, no worries. Well, just yeah, thanks for watching the video and any comments. I'd, yeah, love to hear them. Thanks very much.